Okay guys, uh, this is Mustang Madness here, YouTubers, what's going on? Uh, back here with a little quick video about transmission mount. I was getting some vibration in the car, and um, after checking the U-joints and some other stuff uh, near the transmission, I was vibrating near the transmission, uh, decided it was the mount, checked out the mount. This is the old mount here. It's made of rubber, a couple of bolts hold it here to the to the cross member and the other two go up to the transmission itself. And so I want to give you guys a few tips on what I had to do to change the mount and what kind of mount that I went with. And so instead of going with the rubber mount again, I went with polyurethane mount here. My energy suspension, uh, that's the part number. And this is good from 87 to 95 with a T5. Okay, so this is manual transmission. Not sure about the automatics. So this is a more of a high performance um, uh, transmission mount. You can check it out. I got this one again at Rock Auto. It's like 33 bucks plus shipping. Very reasonable. Um, and so the trick is now you have to put the car on the jack stand. So jack stands, if you got a lift, you're blessed with a lift. That's fantastic. You can actually uh, do it a lot easier. Uh, of course, you have to crawl around. This here I put on the jack stands. And um, what I want to talk about is how I supported the transmission. Obviously, you have to put a jack down there. Um, so we put the jack. And I'm going to show you kind of where I mounted it and why I did what I did. So the cross member of the transmission, I happen to have an X-pipe here. That's the cross member there above the X-pipe. And so I have an X-pipe here. I'm sure it's the same if you have just a um, crossover dual exhaust. So um, what I had to do, I didn't want to take the exhaust out, which I could have, but I didn't want to do it. So I supported the transmission here in the middle between the two kind of halves of the transmission, the tail piece and the um, uh, front part of the transmission there towards the bell housing. And so the first thing you got to do after you support the vehicle Get the jack ready. You don't have to put it up there just yet, but you got to take the two bolts off um, on the crossover to loosen it up from the crossover itself. Before you take the cross member off, because you got to take this cross member off here, it, it, you got one bolt on this side here, and you got the identical bolt on the other side. Now you have to support the transmission. Okay. So again, I put the I put the jack here. I took it up about three or four inches up. Then I took the cross member off and lo loosened it down. Now the trick is on the old one, when you have the exhaust in the way, is you gotta get your hands in there and those babies have to be tightened down. My I guess, estim best estimate is 60 to 80 pounds of torque. I didn't, I looked at the book and stuff, there was no word on that, but the other ones are on there very tight and you can see on the top here they go right through the transmission to the top of the uh, plate there there's a plate right there and so they go on there very tight and the other two not so much tight I think it says 25 to 35 pounds on these two which we'll get to in a minute uh, that you do so after you support the you take the uh, support the transmission you take the cross member off you got to get the other two bolts off and then you're going to pull the other mount out once you get that done the new one is another story, and this is kind of why I did the video, okay? Um, I'm going to pull, pull my phone here. Basically, what happens is the other mount goes in reverse. You bolt it up to the plate of the transmission, and then here is where the problem. So once I lowered the, once I lowered it back down to the cross member after I bolted it back up, okay, and I had it supported with the jack, and then I, I, I bolted the cross member up, I let the jack down, I found out that the bolts are bigger than the um, uh, cross member holes slots. You got slots right there. I don't know if you can see them. You can see where I had to drill. But So what I had to do was I had to take support the transmission again, take the cross member off several times and drill with a unibit and use a file to file open that slot from the stock cross member 
once I got that done, which I've already done now, I cleaned everything. I'm just going to bolt those back. It says 25 to 35 pounds, and uh, that's basically it. So the trick is you got to be a little patient because you have to, um, you know, you got to get out there and you got to uh, file and drill to use that polyurethane mount because what you got to do is you have to put uh, the bolts. I can find those bolts. These are the bolts. So these bolts are much bigger with two, a lock washer and a regular flat washer than the stock ones. So you got to drill. Once you drill, you know, support it, pull the cross member down, make the holes. You know, be careful. Don't make them too big. Uh, bolt everything back up again and uh, back to driving. All right, guys. Have a good one. Bye.